one of the things that does not make sense to us as humans is the act of cannibalism. Why would a member of one species eat another member of the same species? Isn't the whole point to spread your genes and move it on to the next generation? And if you're taking those genes out of the gene pool, aren't you hurting those chances of you know your species continuing? Alligators are by far not the only animals that cannibalize their own species, but there are multiple reasons for it. In this case, it might just be because there are too many top predators in an area, and in order for the majority or the next generations to survive, well, culling some of your own members of your species might be a benefit to you. But what about an instance of fish oftentimes fish like beta fish when they breed the female will literally go down and start eating her eggs how does that make any sense how the male will bring the eggs up to the nest but the female will literally just eat the eggs many snakes who give live birth will do this too the thought process is that the animal expels so much energy while delivering the eggs and producing the eggs that it needs to get a little bit back in order for the female to survive to then later reproduce again. This is the same train of thought for animals such as spiders. The male goes and he does his job. They don't live that long. They don't, you know, they pretty much breed once. And uh, well, the female needs as much sustenance as possible to be able to produce those eggs, you know, in order to keep the generation from going on. So what is the male to her but some extra calories? The exact same thing can be said for many other insects, including praying mantises who are well known for doing this. And sometimes there is no other answer than, I don't discriminate, I'm hungry, you look like food, you're something that can benefit me. And this king cobra right here looked at this other king cobra as a nice tasty snack.